Hi, I'm Jeff Nilsson, Director of Archives at the Saturday Evening Post. I'd like to share with you some of the interesting, curious, and sometimes weird things we have in our historic collection. And today I'd have a little quiz for you. I'd like you to identify what's in this box, which I'll show you in a moment. But first, let's go take a look at something in the archives. You may know that the Saturday Evening Post is a fairly old magazine, but today I want to give you a little bit of perspective on just how old it is. You know, Harper's Weekly began publishing in 1850, Atlantic began publishing in 1857, I believe, Scientific American got an early start at 1845. Well, the Post began publishing in 1821. This is the earliest issue in our archives, September 29, 1821. You'll notice over here it says number nine. And you'll wonder, what happened to numbers one through eight? Well, actually the Post began publishing in early August of 1821, but the editors didn't think about holding on to archival editions until much later. So two months later, they started to hold on to these things for their archives. Hence, this is the earliest issue that we have. The contents are international news, poetry, anecdotes, moral and religious opinions. We see here that a Treaty of Chicago has been signed and now settlers have access to southwestern Michigan and an easement around the bottom of Lake Michigan all the way over to what is now Chicago. And down here is one of two mentions of a con recurring problem with piracy. Lastly, we have personal character of Napoleon. Napoleon had only died five months earlier and many people still thought of him as a great person. So for the next couple of weeks, the Post reprinted several items in praise and in condemnation of the late Emperor of France. And of course, there are ads for boots, umbrellas, more shoes, boots, umbrellas, shoes, and botanic gardens. These early issues are in remarkably good shape partly because we take good care of them, partly because they had better composition. The pages were made out of paper pulp, but also rag content, old linen, old laundry, actually. When you open up the book, you can kind of smell old clothing in these. Okay, so time to put this back in the archives. So here's our mystery box. It comes from our antiques collection. We believe it comes from about 1900 and is from Vienna. I'll show you the contents, but I'm going to block the top because that wouldn't be fair. These are the items. Small metal spring-loaded devices, and I'll give you two clues. They're for personal use, and the number is significant. So if you think you know what these are, tweet us at hashtag SCP Archives, and we'll let you know in our next session. Hope you'll join us then. My name is Jeff Nilsson at the Saturday Evening Post.